ton ami You're all I see When I close my eyes and dream You're all I see You're all I need, all I need This is tonight's five euro stop. Right on the uh, three country border. We are between Germany, Luxembourg and France. We're in a little place called Pearl. And we're here because the dogs have been booked in for tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for their worming. Luxembourg over there. We're in Germany. And France is just over the other side. This is it. Nice and easy by a sports centre. Everything you need. You have an app, you go on and you pay. You choose how long you're here for. Simple as that. Fiver. All good. Oh, thought he's going to a lot. <sighs> yeah, it's electric, but we don't need it as usual. All oh, good. Just have a little walk out now and find the vet for the morning. It's only about a 15 minute walk, but that's without dogs, so it could be a 25 minute walk, depending on how fussy they are. Yeah, but it's, it says eight vans, but it'll be a bit tight. But there's only four of us. We've got one side. The side we're on the electric isn't actually functioning, so I think it's funny the amount of people that actually want lucky. It's quite surprising, isn't it? Usually yeah, yeah, in yeah, Europe, we... Don't them, no, you don't really see many people opting for it, but everywhere we've been, they all seem to, uh, yeah, clamour for it. Oh, well, there's a Belgian guy there, and there's a Dutch guy, yeah, and there's a German yeah. guy, and we're a Brit. Yeah, we're the only ones <laughs> that don't need electric. Yeah. It's a nice, quiet place, sports centre. I guess, uh, what's it, half eight now? It's saying 14 minutes now to get to the vet. Walking past the vineyard. I actually got a little bit of a, a penchant for uh, the Riesling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Although, not too keen on the prices in Colmar. That was a bloody rip-off. But, you know, it's the only time that we've felt we've overpaid for anything. And what we have found is Germany was a lot cheaper than France for food, drink and fuel. Right, there's a three-way play here. Which one do we do? I think it's this one, Les. Uh, yeah, this one. Hello. Ah, it'll be a, a bit of a hike back. Yep. Look, there's Lidl and then there's Norma. Yeah. So funny, chain of shops in Germany called Norma. And uh, Norma. My mummy's name. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bag for life. We've got a bag for life with Norma written on it. Um, yeah. Look at this. Oh, wow. Vineyards are us. Look at that bench. Look at that. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful. You'd be on bench? You'd be on bench. Not for 10 minute walk. Well, it is. 
It's 2048 now. I can't remember, I did say on the, on the video 2040, 2038. It's literally been about 10 minutes so far. You've got the river down here, and there, there's a part of the river where the three country border is. It's usually, it's funny, isn't it? always all over a river. Yeah. You've got three countries, so yeah, I'm pretty sure the other side of the river there is Luxembourg. We're in Germany, and over that angle is France. Fresh nap. That shows pets on the window. Could that be it? It's a pet shop, but is there a vet inside there? This must be it, Lily. This must be it. Arriving at Amjad and Derek. Yeah, it must have a vet inside there as well. So just across the bridge there, Luxembourg. France, 0.5 kilometers. Mossel Weinstrasse, which is a German word, but it's in France. Don't know what it means, but it means the road to France. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're in Germany, so that's pretty cool. We're going to drive over this bit tomorrow anyway. Straight to Luxembourg. We need to cross here, I think, love. Oh, the Luxembourgians don't stop. No. It's the dogs. That was a good little stroll out. Still is a good little stroll out. Just over the bridge by the yappy dog tree. Just over the bridge is the little town of I've shut the f up. <laughs> anyway, that's the park. So, oh, it's a big, yeah, it's, it's a schlosh. A big house in that. Yeah. Nice, you walk your dog. Oh, no dogs, just walk straight in with a dog. Anyway, so down the bottom where we just walked, um, across the bridge in the Luxembourg, the first little village that you hit or town that you hit in Luxembourg is called Schengen and that's where the Schengen agreement was signed um, back in 1985 between five countries to allow freedom of movement and that's where the Schengen agreement was first uh, first signed first first agreed and it's since expanded to over 27 countries I think for freedom of travel obviously the UK is no longer part of that because of Brexit but yeah interesting that that's where it all came from and that's it takes its name the schengen agreement after the town where the treaty was signed and uh, we shall be heading over there tomorrow and on into luxembourg and making our way back towards the crossing so Dogs have seen the vet, had their worming treatment done. We've come over the uh, other side of the River Mosul into Luxembourg, and this is Schengen. Lovely vet over there, really good. Spoke, spoke to English, which always helps because we don't speak very good German. But um, yeah, lovely lady, got it all done. I don't know how much it was for two dogs. Dee's like to have two tablets because he's bigger. Dolly had the one. 
can't remember how much it was. 30 something euros for, this, for both of them. Anyway, this is Schengen. And this is obviously quite famous for the Schengen Agreement. This is where the treaty was first signed, or the, the agreement was first signed in 1985 between just the five countries of Luxembourg, Belgium, Holland, Germany and France. The three country border is in the middle there somewhere. So, uh, yeah, right outside the museum, so you see all the flags of the, uh, what are now the members of the Schengen Agreement. There's loads of them. So that agreement basically allows the freedom of travel between all of these countries. I wonder where the flag was for the UK, which has been removed. Yeah, I think there's 27 of them now. Which is quite good. Czech Republic, Poland, Portugal, Iceland. I wonder where the UK one was. Do you think it was there? Where that plaque, blank plaque is down here. Possibly. I wonder where it was. Things are quite cheap here in Luxembourg as well. Alcohol, fuel and tobacco apparently. We just come over and we passed the first petrol station and it's 10 cents cheaper than we've seen it in Germany. The cheapest we saw in Germany was about 153, so it's 143 here. Well, they've covered up the, uh, the UK one quite well, I think. I suppose it was a while ago now. Schengen is alive. Let's see if we can find the newest member, their flag. The newest member from January the 1st of this year, 2023. And that was Croatia. See the Croatia mark. Rather than read it, I'm trying to look for the flag. Because I don't know what it would be written in Croatia. The, what language? French, I guess. No, can't see the Croatia mark. Maybe they haven't put it up yet. It's a bit weird, isn't it? They're right outside the Museum of Schengen.
All the padlocks for locking in your love. Rent a bike. It's another glorious day. Speaking to the, uh, the vet, they said they've had no rain in Germany for three months. Although we had a thunderstorm in Fusen, but that's at the Alps, I guess. It would have been a, an Austrian storm that just blew in. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. And there's the flag of Luxembourg. Got no Croatian flag. So we've uh, stopped at a free, free air, just over the border from Belgium into France, not far from Mon, up in the. Uh, Sondre Le Chateau is where we're at. Um, and we're in the Parc Natural Region La Vensoir. About two and a half hours from Cockhouse and the, uh, the crossing. So tomorrow we'll probably drive for another couple of hours and have another stop before we go over on Friday. But yeah, this is free. This is amazing. You need um, jetons or tokens to use things which you purchase over that machine. This is my first walk around. Let's have a little look. It's highly rated on the uh, Park for Light app. Really highly rated. So, yeah, had a good drive out. We, we came through Luxembourg, then into Belgium, then into Luxembourg, then into Belgium, then into France, then into Belgium, then into France, then into Belgium, then back into France. It's quite weird, actually. Oh, lovely set out pitches. We didn't come down this far and have a look. So we basically went on the first one that Lisa liked the look of. Oh, that's lovely down here. Down the doggies. It's a nice little town. Huge church we walked in. Great big spire. Big church. It's all getting told off on my account. There's a footpath. I won't go over that way, that lady's showing. I think I'm being rude and filming. So yeah, there's a footpath there, looks like. Walk into the town, we can get down the road. Uh, yeah. So it's just sat out. Drinking a cold beer. Hello. Drinking a cold beer. In the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa's happy. That was a Brit. You see some people making their way back, find the same places. Oh. Yeah. Haven't been over to the service area yet, but it's a big drive over. Grey waste drop. Um, but I did see the word jet on, so I think everything works off tokens. The electric, get your water. Uh, but we're good, we're okay, we're... Uh, we, serviced before we left so we're full of water everything else is empty so we're good oh they said about barbecue areas didn't they yeah there's barbecue areas over there yeah good sized pitches as well well set out Sports field behind there. So I suppose if there's a game going on, might get a bit of noise, but in the afternoon, yeah, barbecue anyone can use. Looks like it's been cleaned up or used for a while. Probably because it hasn't been cleaned up for a while. Oh well. Yeah. Worth coming to. Absolutely worth coming to. 